what's up my vina loves it's miss vina d coming to you all from vina team and eels before we get into these girls and what's going on with them on the real housewives of atlanta i was nice enough to give you all a little sneak peek of one of the bedrooms in my house i have a lot of bedrooms in the house i just dropped my part two of my house tour where i show the first living room the second living room and the dining room right now these are the before images when I tell you the after is everything, but you have to be a member. So just go ahead and click the very first link in the description below. Become a part of my membership. And when I tell you this house tour is everything. For those of you who are already a member, thank you all for the love and support. If I do say so myself, I did my thing. I'm so proud of how it came out. But anyways, let's get into the hot mess that's going on on social media with these girls. So Bravo meme page, Bravo TV on Instagram and Twitter posted this image right here and wrote on Wednesdays, we wear pops of pink and ketchup on our HOA and then go ahead and read the rest. Of course, Miserable Milo left some emojis on the Bravo TV Instagram page. But when I tell you these comments, while Bravo is calling them fashion icons and really pushing them and promoting them, Bravo supporters want them gone, especially the Real Housewives of Atlanta supporters. Now, I'm not out here wishing that anyone should lose their job and how they feed their kids, their families, and all of that. But your own audience and supporters leads to rating the higher your rating the longer your show is there on air if the ratings continue to decline then guess what your show gets canceled okay so i'm not saying any of these comments are going to sway the way how bravo thinks and if they're going to bring them back or not but let's get into it because miserable milo the backlash was crazy last year and she kept her peach the same thing goes for a flip flopper user sonia let's get into these comments i'm both on twitter and instagram this entire group can go not dumb dumber the big dummy and dumb cheese and dumb is get them off our screens yes give us nothing what is wrong with y'all stand there and do nothing if you're on the losing team challenge my goodness they don't like them mm. on the losing team how cute the losers if the losing team was in a picture the d list housewives minus sonia this would be the lonely hearts club well you can have someone and still be lonely child sonia's in a long distance marriage four of the most overrated and boring housewives ever they all need to exit left clown emoji all can go the side no one likes delete all not delete them all chat fire them all big snooze fest if courtney wasn't too thirsty she would be cute worst rhoa season they all share one brain cell get them bleep off our screens now clowns emojis time to get rid of all of them and start over fresh these women are boring and tired worst season ever all the clowns in the circus are in this photo sonia and malo are two of the worst housewives in the history of this show my goodness get rid of them and they can take sheree and courtney with them we need Mayetta and Akila as full time. They are actual housewives. Bring back Portia, Cynthia, or even Claudia. The worst season of our HOA since inception. Oh, if I could ask this person a question, it would be worst ever based on what? Because you can't say worst ever, but then you want Portia Williams to come back. Okay, because Portia Williams was involved in the biggest lie scandal on this show. Even though, yes, yeah, someone told her something, she repeated it, but she was involved in that. Portia Williams been involved in violence on this show, physically assaulted people on this show, involved in lies that could have destroyed people's lives. Portia Williams have been in Milo's same situation as it relates to reaching for a storyline and creating lies and doing any and everything for her peach so when you say they are the worst 
in what context because then throw Porsche in there as well because even though yes I know people like Porsche and Porsche can come back anytime like Andy Cohen said you can't call them the worst but yet Porsche been in worst situation on this show than them okay so I'm fair but anyways let's continue now it's possible for someone to be terrible in certain aspect but you might still love their bubbly personality and certain things or the fun personality so maybe that's the other side of Porsche that people love and missed on the show clowns minions pick me I just can't with them they can all go the clowns the actual ones ruining our HOA fake mean girls girl i can't stand sonia she is as phony as they come literally she is the least like on the show please replace her get rid of the fake and that fiction is this the big brother house a celebrity big brother that evict them all the losers don't like those baggy pants the mean girls everyone in this picture is annoying to watch at this point get rid of all four all four need to go waste of space why is bravo going down the bottom front which is cheap please get rid of sonia courtney and drew love the speech impediment quartet oh my gosh i agreed with this comment on the screen the issue with the real housewives of atlanta is that people issues and their drama and everything else that's going on it's not authentic People are reaching and manufacturing a storyline. And when it seems forced, when people are desperately just doing any and everything just to keep their peach, that's when it becomes this way. Imagine someone looking for an issue with somebody and that person asks them, what is your issue with me? And they sit at the table mute because they don't know. They can't list one issue at all. That's what happened to Sanya. That's how embarrassing it is. When you have people on the show, I can't even give the reason why they're upset with somebody and they're only upset with them because they know this person has been on the show for a long time and go have an issue with them and get some airtime. Because that's exactly what happened. The woman couldn't even explain her issues with Kenya. So now you have someone like Measurable Milo reaching for the sake of reaching, attacking Candy just to say she have a storyline. Even though Bravo been playing flashbacks and she's getting caught up all in her lies, you know, Candy didn't acknowledge it, then Bravo showed the flashback. Well, she actually did acknowledge it and she had empathy, just not to the level that you wanted her to have. And so when people are watching the show and they see things being forced, it just takes away the fun and the excitement from the show and hopefully these girls can read the comments and get it together you know what hey if bravo give me another chance and bring me back i'm gonna do better i'm gonna make sure things are authentic i'm gonna make sure i'm not reaching or just lying for the sake of lying just to say hey look at me i have a storyline because right now yeah it's a hot mess Anyway, just want you to know that social media, yep, they agree with most of you. They're not here for them either, <laughs> okay? So hopefully, you know, producers over there, they change some things up and make it happen. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. My loves, thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.